I don't even like all my bits of y'all, honey. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, it's like honey on the biscuit. Mmm. Mm. Uh oh, now it's dripping on me. Yeah. You have to let people know. Look, we all the same. You don't mean that what you drive and what you do and this and that means nothing to me. I treat you just like I treat him. A lot of people like to say that I don't have a hairline and no edges. Right. <laughs> That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? Nah, no, this ain't no clickbait. What's up, y'all? Hey, guys, it's Steph. And Tasha, and we back with another video. <laughs> I don't care. I'm drunk, I'm hungry. <laughs> if, if, if you're new here, thank you for subscribing and welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. Steph's gonna say what we're doing today. Today, you guys, we are doing a KFC versus Popeyes fried chicken mukbang. Period. Hungry as heck. Ready? I'm happy. I'm ready. <laughs> Shit. Let's just go. Come on. Let's get into the video. All right, guys. Yeah. We didn't even have to go nowhere, but we're back. Yeah. Okay. We already did our thumbnail. We ready to eat. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we got here is we got Popeyes chicken and we got KFC. We're gonna do a KFC versus Popeyes. I got some half spicy, half um, non spicy, and they didn't do it right, but it's fine. Of course, they always get something yeah. wrong, y'all. Got some barbecue sauce here mixed with soy sauce. We got some. These are the Popeyes biscuits. Mm. We're gonna see which we do which one we like better. Red beans and rice, y'all. All you can see is the rice, but some red beans down up in there. Throw a biscuit right there so y'all can see it. Save that. And then huh, we only got one KFC biscuit. <laughs> we got a smaller size of KFC chicken because we already know which one won. Mm -hmm. We done had KFC and Popeyes enough to know what yeah. we like, y'all. Okay. But we also got. Some French fries from Popeyes. Hold on. Well, shit, ain't nobody eating that KFC. Right, Popeyes, and then here's KFC. So, what do you guys like better? Y'all like Popeyes, y'all like KFC? Well, me? Right, but it get Popeyes, huh, baby? Mm hmm. Popeyes spicy. I like how this was nice and soggy right here, y'all. Mm hmm. I'm gonna throw fries right here, y'all. Boom. Boom. So y'all can get some too. Okay, so what I got to say is I was so mad. KFC gonna say they ain't got no wings, y'all. Not one wing, okay? So I had to get drumsticks and thighs. That sucks. Mm. Can you have me a spoon? I just had KFC original. We I love original. Do you like crispy? Here from KFC? I don't like crispy. Mm. I don't know. To me, the original tastes very good. I'm not really, I'm not really a, too much of a fan of KFC. Yeah, it's kind of good though. Popeye's fries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I definitely like Popeye's fries way better than KFC's potato wedges. Okay, so now I'm gonna go for. Crispy Popeye's chicken wing. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> we have for no breasts, y'all. Guess what they gave us? Three gigantic Three? breasts. Ooh, I'm just gonna eat me some red beans and rice, y'all. What other size y'all like? I was hoping to try the. What is it? Fried, fried okra? Yeah. No, I don't know, y'all. So mad. They had black eyed peas, but I was scared to get them. Somebody told me they were bland. Not that I had to listen, but they probably are. <sighs> I like my food seasoned well, so if somebody said they were bland, they were probably going to be super bland to me. Right. Mm. Mm -hmm. I like the biscuit with the red beans and rice. You, do? you don't watch me eat, babe. You be uh, no, I don't even see you getting the red beans like that. Well, I don't get it that much because we only go to Popeyes. We ain't went to Popeyes that much. Damn you. I know you are. Here you go. Okay, fit all that. No, uh, okay, like you. Mm. Red beans and rice with the biscuit. Good. 
Man. Only thing I like on my bits of y'all, honey. Yeah. Ooh. Well, it's like honey on the biscuit. Mmm. Mm. Uh oh, now it's dripping on me. Mmm. That's it. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Honey, honey. Mm, 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 mm. So if you're new here, we generally eat for a little while, discuss the food, and then we have a topic later. Today we're going to be talking about something from one of our viewers. So stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. about love and lack of love. My favorite topic. My favorite topic is love, y'all. In, in a lot of different forms, you know. I think a lot of people immediately think of romantic sense when you talk about love, but I think you should live your life with love as the intention at all times. Mm -hmm. Everybody be happy if we don't do that. The reason why we're not happy is because there's not enough love. Right. Period. Mm -hmm. Meaning. I'm sorry, not many, but one example. All these homeless people out here, and I'm not talking to ones that are that are homeless because of their own whatever they did to become homeless. But a lot of people are homeless just because they didn't have money, or they had a upbringing. Anyway, right? They didn't have a, the opportunities that other people have mm -hmm. to help them not be homeless. Basically. There's a lot of people out there. Yeah. So. Versus someone who has a lot of money and sees somebody homeless and it's just like, mm, no, you did something to get where you are. Get out of my face. Right. That's not love. Because if the crazy thing is, there are a lot of younger people who are homeless. Mm -hmm. 17, 15, 16, you know, people that are in and out of foster care. A lot of youth mm -hmm. that don't have good parental guidance and stuff like that end up being homeless. Mm -hmm. So how do you think they can get from being homeless, a homeless child? to being a, su a successful adult. That's very hard. Mm -hmm. So, you never know what the, it, somebody has been through, okay? Don't just hard out here for adults to uh, to take care of themselves, mm -hmm. you know? So. What else we got? They only have, oh, here we go. Found my last one, y'all. Your mm, 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 mm. last one? Mm-hmm. Mm. What? I brightened up. What do you mean? I thought you were gonna. Oh, I'm sorry. Find the wings. I don't know. Sorry. Ain't no more wings. Did you even have any uh, KFC? No. You're not doing verses at all. Yeah, I'm about to eat one. <laughs> you want jump stick or? I'll take a five. Let me get back to what I was trying to say. Oh, sorry, baby. So, you turn around and tell someone that's homeless, no, get out of my face, this, this, and that. They turn around and take that same attitude towards someone else because you just hurt their feelings, you just upset them, and then the cycle just goes on and on. Right? When instead you could give them money, or you don't even have to give them money if you don't want to, just say a kind word to them, mm -hmm. and they will... You know what it's called? Pay it forward? Yeah. They will do the same. They will keep going and going, but... Right. That's how energy flows in society, period. Mm -hmm. Not just with homeless people, but with people, mm -hmm. period. You walk outside and you run into somebody miserable and hateful. They do something to you and now you're upset for that day. And now you, wherever ever you're going, you may take it out on that person. Mm -hmm. You know, and it just, it just continues to flow like that. So... You know, don't let negative and miserable people affect your energy mm -hmm. because you will push that off on the next person that you come in contact to with, too. And that goes for YouTubers. When people are in the comments being negative, go ahead and drag them, because I do. Without a problem, go ahead and clap back, because I do. But don't let that affect your day. Right. No, after you hit that submit, that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, you have to understand that these people are really not even... Even if it's a personal insult, like a lot of people like to say that I don't have a hairline and no edges. Right. <laughs> Even if it's a personal um, insult, 
they don't even really mean it for you. Something is wrong with them. They're unhappy. Something is going on with them where they want to find something to target. Oh, okay, she got a big forehead. Let right. me say this. I don't give a shit. Right. You have to remember that these people are just saying whatever. Mm-hmm. And then tomorrow, I'm going to tell you, so what? Somebody said something. I can't remember what they said. Oh, they kept saying pig. Pig, pig, pig. Oh, you yeah. know who you are? Well, all kept are. saying pig, pig, pig. Stephanie responded, and every time she responded, what did you what did you put? She was just like, thanks for watching, put hearts and all that kind of stuff. She just kept saying stuff like that. Eventually, the person came and looked at one of the videos, and I'm like, Steph, you're so beautiful, and I love you guys. Just, like, that shit weird. These people just need love. Yeah. For real. I think everybody just need love. Like, I think every person that has ever left us a horrible message, if we met them in person, I don't think we would ever got that energy from them. Uh-uh. You know, it's just because they, they don't have any connection with us and they are sad and miserable themselves or whatever. Mm-hmm. So there, it's easy to just like be mean to somebody that you don't know, don't care about, can't see, and all that. But, you know, it's, it's not real. None of that shit is real. None of the energy that you get that's bad. It's real. From YouTube is real. Mm-mm. Now, there's some people who really are just jerks and. Have never been treated wrong, have always had the best, mm-hmm. and they're still just jealous. Oh, yeah. Those There's are the assholes of life. life. Yeah. Those are the ones who need to get drug mm. and need to get clapped back on and need might need to be humbled, you know? Guess I'll have this. But these red beans and rice are good. Mm-mm-mm. Should we get into the topic or just keep this topic? Let's get into the topic. Oh, yeah. Let's get this, this, this topic. Be 17. Mm-hmm. So, well, I was, when you just said what you said, I thought about <clears throat> one morning that I was at Burger King. Mm-hmm. And there was a car in front of me. He had a Bentley. And he was being so rude to the people. When he was ordering, he was like, oh, we can't get it right. This is why you work here, you're imbeciles. I mean, he was, and I could hear him from being, I was behind him in the, in the car. Mm-hmm. I could hear his whole attitude, just mad. So at first I'm like, okay, well maybe they really messing this thing up, you know, whatever. So then he gets up to the window, and I think they didn't give him the ketchup or something. Or maybe not the right amount that he wanted. He went off. This is why you guys work here, you fucking stupid. I mean, he, I was so mad that I wanted to like, go off on him. Right, I would've, I would've, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, why are you treating people like that? Mm-hmm. You are super miserable. It's not that serious. I'm like, that's, I don't know. People, those people think they are above everybody in society, basically. Well, the thing is that there are some people who also feel like those people are above them. So if you allow someone to talk to you that way, or if you feel like you're beneath somebody, right. then they're going to see that and they're going to treat you that way. First of all, don't ever think you're beneath somebody because of some money. Right. A lot of people believe oh if you have more money than me you're higher than me that means nothing if somebody put us together in a jail cell and strips you of all your money and strips me of all of whatever i have we are we don't see who is um higher than the next basically thank you baby. it ain't got to be a jail cell if you hey, took away what five. everybody has um financially i think what do you think is the most what do you think determines what you are and who you are other than just that, you, like the person who you are, you are in person. general, yeah. you have to let people know. Look, we all the same. You don't mean that what you drive and what you do and this and that means nothing to me. I treat you just like I treat him. Right. It doesn't matter to me. That's and I true. feel like a lot of times people buy this and buy that to seem like they have so much money, which in turn gives them power with some people who believe those things mean something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. But they might not even have a, as much money as somebody that don't have all that stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, you shouldn't even, if that is what you're, if you're using money to determine who's higher or lower, you shouldn't go buy material stuff. No. Because a lot of people, you won't even know what they have in their bank account, okay? Mm-hmm. Just because they don't have on this and have on that or have a Bentley or whatever. That right. don't mean, right. that don't mean their bank account ain't stacked, boo right. And there's a lot of You ain't going to ever see us driving no Bentleys. But trust and believe, we always got money in the bank. Okay? Sorry. I'm just saying though, like, tell the truth. Okay. And this is what I wanted to say too. As far as the YouTube world, um, I think in the YouTube world, it's about, oh, who has the most subscribers? Whoever has more subscribers is 
or viewers is um, the, on the top. Right. Now, the views and the subscribers does equate to more money, okay? But so that's again saying the same thing. Oh, if you have more money, you're better. Mm-hmm. So there, I, I'm going give an example real quick. We can praise someone with 5,000 subscribers on our channel and we get no negative comments, no negative anything. But if we praise somebody with a million subscribers, we get, oh, you guys are cloud chasing. You, you, excuse me, you clout chasing or you right. sucking somebody's ass. Whatever the hell they right. can say some random shit. No, That's you can't. Pr- oh, we don't judge somebody by whatever, right. by this or that. Everybody is the same to us. Right. Get it right. Everybody is the same. We are human beings. Mm-hmm. That's it. So, why do you get mad? The reason why you get mad is because you're the one who thinks that that person is higher than us. You're the one that thinks that person is higher than you or the next person. Mm -hmm. Not us, sweetie. Don't get it twisted. Because I put myself and my wife on a very high pedestal. And I put everyone else on a very high pedestal as well. Until you show me you ain't worth being there. Exactly. That's it. No, I was going to say that to a lot of people. I think a lot of people, not everybody, are really shocked that about how, how engaged we are with the viewers and... I try to respond to everybody who sends us DMs, not because I'm like, oh, I'm somebody and I'm not doing it because I feel like I should because we have this channel. I'm doing it because there's another human talking to me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's it. And I want to respond. You That's know, it. like I feel bad if I don't have time to respond to people. We're going to end it with that. The never, never feel like you're less than somebody because they have more money than you, never more anything. popularity than you. Mm-hmm more anything we are all the same we all can be in each other's shoes at any point yep. in in life and yep. for all those yeah for all those people who think they somebody they, yeah, everybody's somebody I don't, I don't think you should not think you're somebody but for you to think you're better than somebody else because stuff you have you better hump yourself because any yep. moment you all that stuff can be taken away yep okay it's okay to feel like you're something but you need to know that everybody else is something too exactly all right y'all i think we fool but we love all y'all. We appreciate all you guys, old and new. Right. We love all y'all. Thank you for everybody who has subscribed to our channel recently. Everybody who's been here, we love it all, y'all. That's what she's trying to say. I mean, that's what I was saying. That's what she did say. I just repeated it for no fucking reason. Yeah. Perfect place. That's fine. Okay. Okay, so I'll vote for Popeyes. Okay. You got you got to vote for Popeyes because you didn't even eat KFC. I'll vote for Popeyes, red beans, and rice. Okay. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and let us know what you guys think. If you want to know more about us, please subscribe to our vlog channel. The link is in the description below. Make sure you turn your post notifications to all so you don't miss any of our daily uploads, live streams, or, or premieres. premieres. And until next time, only good vibes.